you guys. So I got a bunch of little vignettes that um, I got on 621.23 from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. So here are the titles. The Hills, Hear Me Roar, Food Allergies, Splendor to Come, and Pray. Number one, The Hills. After I heard The Hills, I saw the most beautiful set of green hills, pristine, and they seemed just so rolling and they went on just forever, okay? So then I heard this. The Rolling Hills of the Western Lands. This is the city of the eternal kingdom in heaven, the land eternal, the world to come. I reserve the best for last. All of the dreams, all of the desires, none attained will triumph over the world to come. A city indescribably beautiful, the streets of gold, the waters of purity, plates and glasses made of pure gold and engraved and dedicated to me. Every detail personalized for each unique person. Desires of your heart reflected for all to see in tangible things around you in your everyday world. All of your virtue reflected in your tangible items. This will be happening in the eternal kingdom. No sun above needed in the city of light. The city on a foundation of jewels. The things of this earth that are held in high esteem so normal there they uphold the base of the city because it is filled with such splendors beyond this you cannot even imagine things too unusual for the mortal mind there is only good and excellence to look forward to in the eternal city this place i have designed for my own my people and an eternity of blessings this is not a fantasy this is the place where the bride adorned in splendor will live with her groom, my son Jesus, forevermore. All who come to heaven will be written in the registry of the eternal city and all who live in the earthly city of truth and all who live here in heaven already will have their names written on the register of the eternal city. All that are led by Christ and allow him to lead their life will come to this eternal city, the holy and eternal city. Come, you who are weary, lay down your troubles, focus on what is to come. Perfection for all eternity, joy and love for eternity. The decadence of kings for my own forever, come. Give up the cares of this world, it's weighing you down, come. The world is going to fall apart. The stress and cares are going to increase for all without hope. Have hope, see my plan. Come to me and give up the cares. Come to the land of no tears, no sickness, no conflict, no hatred. Come where kindness and love are the standard, where every person you meet is your friend. No war, no disease, no wrath. Come, come to the city of rest. Allow me to write your name on the registry, come. The second one, hear me roar. The sound is deafening. My holy roar from my throne. I come to save my people. I come to rule the earth. Hear me roar. I come to put an end to evil. I stand and I come. The time is near. I prepare and do not delay. The Holy One of Israel, the Lion of Judah, the Eternal King, hear me roar. The holy roar. I come for you, my people. I come for justice. I come to take my rightful throne. Raise your prayers, raise your praise. The age of the King is to come. Those who bear my name, Jesus Christ, you are mine, Christians. Soon we will be face to face. I am coming. Hear me roar, fill your days with prayer. The hour is almost here, hold on. Third one. Those of you with issues with food, the food that man has tainted, allergies and reactions, your challenges with men's food show your purity. The holy ones react. Their bodies cannot handle the tainted food. Be refreshed. You are the elect, the special ones. It is difficult now, but look forward to what is coming. Your fastings will end. No food will have its limits. No food will cause problems. No food will cause allergies. No foods will be restricted. Rejoice 
As the time draws near for you to go home, your food troubles will come to an end soon. Hold on. The day has already started and will bring you home. Hold on. I will sustain you until the end. Hold on. Number four, the splendor that is to come is so unbelievable that no one could imagine. I have given glimpses to few. The eternal city with all of its members filled with brightness, hope, love, and joy will be beyond what anyone could ask or imagine. I alone hold the information and knowledge of this amazing place. My son has built mansions and homes and villages for all of you to come, all of you who are his. It will be a blessed day. My heart rejoices to see the delight on your face when you see the perfectly chosen residence. It will be a time where people will come and go into another's home with no locks. Everyone will be rejoicing to see another. No one overwhelmed by too many people, only rejoicing in happiness. Those of you who have had difficult lives, you have had difficult families, who have not had the bonds of connection with healthy Christ-like people, keep your eyes on what is to come. This is something you could never imagine. This is beyond the best bonds that Christians have ever had on earth. Have hope. Look forward to what is to come. I, the Lord God Almighty, do not lie. I, the Lord God Almighty, will not allow my own to be harmed, hurt, or fail in these trials to come. You will be upheld. You will conquer evil and darkness. Do not doubt, I have it all in my hand. Each of the amazing things to come, whether it is at Geboa, Zion, or the City of Truth, it will be beyond what you can imagine. And once you have experienced this bliss, the eternal city will be 1,000 times better. How can this be, you may wonder? How can anything be better than what we have already learned? Trust me, the best is yet to come. You know not of what the galaxies afford. You know not what all of the gifts are I can bestow. You know not of my aim for the eternal future. These are my mysteries yet to be revealed. Have hope. The best is yet to come. Always recall, this life is but a moment in the grand scheme of time. Do not allow the troubles of this day to stir you, move you, or distract you from me. I am the Lord God Almighty. I alone hold your future in my hand. Keep your eyes on me. I see your steps. I will shape your steps so that they are in accordance with me and that you are spared and saved into good and not evil. Trust me, bring me your faith. Lay it before me and surrender your will. I will come before you and lead you. Surrender. Learn what I teach you. Listen to my words. Read the Psalms of David. Understand my glory and holiness. Grasp the value of the Lord God of the universe speaking with you through scripture. Grasp your smallness and understand that in my power, the one who has power over the universe, know that I have you in the palm of my hand. Bring yourself to full surrender. Surrender to me. I will lead you. Listen to me. You cannot fail with me in your corner. Bring your weakness and a willing heart and I will use you and spare you. Be sure to trust me. I do not like the double-minded. Trust me. Believe me. I hold it all in my hands and I do not lie. Number five. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. The glory of the Lord is to be quickly upon his own. Rest in me. Allow me to lead. Do not be surprised when I move. All will see. Miracles come to life. Mine sparkle like brilliant diamonds filled with rainbows. Mine shine forth with my holy light. The whole earth will take notice. The whole earth will see my bright ones. They will be my representatives and start the revolution. Miracles will burst forth. People will be healed. The powers of darkness shattered. They will not be able to even mimic 
what is soon coming through my holy people. Stand firm. For mine who are anointed, bright or mighty, nothing will be able to overpower you. Nothing. As you spread my word and works quickly around the world, those in disbelief now will quickly turn their hearts. When the miracles of Christ and the apostles come to life through mine, casting down darkness, healing the sick, repairing the disabled, and raising the dead, few will be able to deny that I am within these. When they walk on water and move dangers out of the way of my own, hearts will turn. Church, I hear your cries. For those you are praying for, I hear your cry. I will redeem all that will come. The few stubborn, the masses that need more pressure to understand what their eventual life would be without me. I will give them the day of pains and darkness, the deep pains in darkness to inspire them to cry out to me. Few stubborn will stay as rebels. Few stubborn will take the Antichrist mark. I hear your cry, the selfless cry for deliverance for those you love and for those you do not even know. Continue to pray that their hearts are opened. Continue to pray that their strongholds are broken. Continue to pray for their ears to be opened and eyes to see. Continue to pray for those in the church that do love me deeply, but lack the ability to move with my spirit. Pray for them. Pray they will listen to me and not to man. I have in place wonders and marvels that no one can imagine. I will bring as many to me as will come. All I have given to the Son will come. Some now steeped in wickedness will even turn because of your faithful prayers. Continue to pray. Your prayers do change people's lives in ways you cannot understand until you come to heaven. Pray. That's it. Hope that's encouraging and see you next time.